good morning, good morning, fellas and ladies. Yeah, we are now making our way home, sweet home. That's right, I'm happy, happy, happy. <clears throat> Looks like another beautiful day today. Yep, we got us 400 miles to go to Winnipeg yet, so uh, yeah, I would say about seven hours driving and we'll be in Winnipeg. Yeah, drop this trailer in the terminal there. And then uh, we'll see if they got a load bringing to Steinbach today for us to bring to Steinbach. And if that's the case, then we'll be bringing one to Steinbach. If not, then oh well, we'll just be bobtailing back home again. That's fine with me. I get paid either way. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, we'll have our three days worth of work in this week so far. But I am just going to do a reset when I get home and go again. Like, I'll be home tonight. And then I'll be available right away first thing side of the morning. Uh, yeah. We'll see if we can get us a better trip on Saturday. That's the plan anyways, right? I hope so get us a better trip would be kind of nice to get me a nice long trip there on Saturday maybe go up to like Massachusetts or something something like that where it would be like a three-day drive and then uh, I could deliver on Tuesday because Monday is a holiday so that would be actually really nice good miles it's like 1800 miles one way that would be super nice. But sometimes you don't get what you wish or what you want and you can still get a short trip even though it's a long weekend, you know. Or worse, you can even not get a trip at all, right? But yeah, that's the way trucking goes. But it was quite interesting to see the OIDA truck sitting in the uh, Petro there uh, last night. And, well, he was still there this morning and I thought they were going to open up shop and I was going to go talk to them. But uh, then when I got there, he just closed uh, he just closed his doors and, uh, and they cleaned everything up and then he left. Well, I guess they were just there till this morning. <clears throat> but yeah, I guess this truck had a hard time pulling that hill, so pulled right in front of me there. So I don't really like the tailgate, so I figured I'd move in the left lane here. Oh, there we go. Now he's getting there up to speed again. So we can move back in the right lane. But yeah. We'll get on down to Winnipeg, and uh, I know there ain't too much interesting stuff from here to there, so I don't know what exactly we're going to be able to show you. I mean, we show you this stretch of highway quite a few times already, so I'm not sure what kind of interesting stuff we'll come up with today, but I'm sure we'll find something, right? I'm still on I-94, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, I am. I'm only about an hour away from Fargo, though. But we're doing pretty good timing here today. We already got two hours worth of driving behind us and uh, I'm kind of debating on whether or not I'm going to be stopping in Fargo there or not. <clears throat> I'm kind of going to keep an eye on it. The reason why I'm saying that is I'm kind of thinking about getting a truck wash done over there. That would be kind of nice getting a nice truck wash done over there and have a nice clean looking truck it's supposed to be beautiful weather here today and tomorrow so I mean what more can you ask you don't even really see any clouds in the sky beautiful beautiful sunny day and it's supposed to be like that again tomorrow so I figured you know what maybe I should go get me a good truck wash and have a nice clean looking truck since I am going to be working on a uh, special video probably tomorrow, 
it would be kind of nice to have a nice clean looking truck yeah that's right I think that would be very nice having us a good clean looking truck is always always makes you feel nice you know it looks nice you feel good going down the road you get compliments you know nice looking truck all that good stuff although I don't get that very much anymore because you know, mine is just a regular average Volvo I guess you could say but at least I feel good if I have a nice clean looking truck and I haven't really gotten my truck washed at all too much this summer yet at uh, Blue Beacons or any places like that so <clears throat> I wouldn't mind getting one again I washed a truck myself there a few weeks ago so I think it's time to do that so we'll see how busy they are in there they're not too crazy busy in there like you can actually see it while you're coming up to the place you can actually see if there's a long lineup or not you know and if there is not too bad of a lineup maybe you can go in there and get a truck wash but knowing it's a beautiful day like it is today I wouldn't be one bit surprised if they they got quite a few people in there today that wouldn't surprise me at all but anyways, we're going to continue cruising along here. We'll see what we will do, if we will uh, get into the truck wash or not, right? Welcome back to Manitoba, ladies and gentlemen. Way station uh, ahead. Yeah, that's right, RJ. We got a way station ahead. So let's go ahead and see what they want today. Obviously, they're going to scale us and see how heavy we are, but let's see if they want anything else from us today, right? We just cross the border. Swipe left on King Street and then make a U-turn possible. Say we're supposed to stop before meters. we pull onto the scale, so you always do that if they have a sign like that. Make sure that we are okay. But yeah, looks like our weight is right where we like it to be. Yep, that's what it looks like see if they're gonna give us any change of lights but yeah perfect we got it 100% equal on the weight <laughs> that's awesome just keep saying next X also doesn't say anything if we gotta pull in or anything like that but here we are back in Canada guys yeah so we got about an hour and a half King Street and then to our terminal in Winnipeg in 50 meters yeah I know RJ is screaming at me because he doesn't like me going in there and nor do I like going in there but hey <laughs> this is part of our career part of our job if the lights are flashing we gotta go in here and see what they want from from us right that's right but yeah it looks like these farmers have started to uh, make a U turn if possible. Take and their crop off of the fields. That's what it meters. looks like. like. Lord Selkirk Highway, Highway 75. All right, RJ, we're going to do that. Are you okay with that? You want to remind us again? Well, it's good that you remind us, but hey, we know where we're going. I think so anyways, I could easily just turn off the GPS, but I just like to have it on so that way I can continue on this road for 40 See how far we gotta go and it also lets me know I got it set up to where if I'm coming up to a town and there's a let's say a speed limit change, let's say it's a lower speed limit in the town, it will actually tell me one mile in advance that there's a speed limit change coming up. I will say speed limit reduced ahead. So that way I know I you know gotta start slowing down because it takes a while for a big truck to uh, slow down, especially if it's a dramatic change, let's say from 100 kilometers down to 50 kilometers. 
50 kilometers down an hour, so uh, that's a dramatic change. So that uh, takes a little bit to slow down to that kind of speed. So, so that's the big reason why I always keep it on. But yeah, Winnipeg, 87 kilometers. But we got to go to all the way on the other side of Winnipeg to drop this trailer at the terminal. So it'll take us about an hour and a half to get there. About that, I would say. So yeah, here we are, back in Canada, officially. All right, guys, I was told to do a trailer switch up there in, uh, at the terminal there. And uh, so we did our trailer switch, and uh, here we are, making our way home. That's right. And... Uh, I wanted to go get me a uh, cable for my camera from a mini USB port to a 3.5 mil audio port for the GoPro. I know a jukebox bought one at uh, Best Buy there in, uh, in the US and I figured well they gotta have it here too right so I went to the Best Buy. No way. They have the nope, not at all. So that kind of disappointed me a little bit, but hey, what can you say, man? That's the way it goes. Now I went to Walmart and they don't have it either. <laughs> so I'm pretty much struck out. Walmart didn't have nothing like that and the only thing that I could get at uh, Best Buy was I could actually buy the microphone that I already have and it's got that uh, little square microphone uh, adapter with it but I wasn't going to spend 50 some dollars just for that microphone just so I can get that connection. No way! I can get that uh, connection on Amazon for like probably for 15 bucks or less. So I wasn't going to spend that extra 50 bucks, you know, or 40 bucks or whatever you want to say. So now we got nothing left and go to go home. That's right. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come